Welcome back, everyone. Great to have you. I am Eric, KJ4YZI with Ham Radio Concepts, and I need a shave. It's January. It's cold. I'm off from work. Who needs a shave? If you're following along in this mini-series about HF bands one video at a time, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't have to dig through all the videos to find it. We've talked about 10 meters, 12 meters, and 15 meters. Now we're on to 17 meters. And 17 meters is another one of the three WARC bands, W-A-R-C, which stands for the World Administrative Radio Conference, that has designated three bands as contest-free bands, 12, 17, and 30. So we've already talked about 12 as one of the WARC bands. So 17 meters. Now you have more properties of 20-meter band without all the congestion from contesting. 17 meters is a great band. There's a lot of good people on there. Let's check out 18 megahertz. Taking a look at the 17 meter band here, or 18 megahertz, the band spans from 18.068 to 18.168. And general, advanced, and extra class operators enjoy the same privilege across the band. So if you're a general, you have the same operating privilege as extra. You can talk to a bunch of extras on here. On the upper portion of the band, upper side band from 18.110 to 18.168. And the lower portion, some more CWs, some more data, PSK, FT8, JT65, Olivia, Contestia, and more on 17 meters. 17 meters shares a lot of the properties that 20 and 15 meters have. So 17 meters would probably be your best bet daytime closer to the summer. But with that being said, looking at the DX maps right here at January 4th in 2, in 2.16 uh, p.m. in the winter, we have plenty of stations reporting stateside and DX contacts on 17 meters. If I look at the PSK Reporter site, which is a whole video in itself on my YouTube channel about how PSK Reporter works and where these spots are coming from, this shows that the daylight hours with the gray line and the nighttime hours where spots are being heard. This is the last 15 minutes. All signals that are reporting on this site on 17 meters in the last 15 minutes. And you can see quite a bit of stations here, quite a bit of activity and in the night over here in Europe. So 17 can open late and go on to 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. It has happened. It can happen. It will happen. There is no set law as to how these bands operate. Now, something like 10 meters, you can probably wager it's better in the summer and the daytime, but 17 will give you a little bit of a mix on both depending on the conditions. 17 is the next place I check after I check 20 to see what's going on. And a lot of times I get better signals on 17 than I do on 20 because it is rather a quieter band than 20 meters as far as noise and congestion and signals. 17 is the next best thing to check if you looked at 20 and the bands are open and you want another place to talk. Let's go back to the antenna calculator on this site and see how long a 17 meter half wave dipole, simple wire dipole would be. We'll go halfway in the middle of the foam portion and see that it's roughly 25 feet 9 inches or 25, almost 26 feet. And you can trim accordingly for end to end a half wave dipole. So if you're one of those ones in a space restricted area, or you're trying to figure out what's the biggest antenna I can put with this space, well, if you can get 26 feet. Uh, of area to put a half wave dipole you can get on 17 meters and one side of that be 12 foot 10.9 inches and certainly not too tall if you want to make a 17 meter vertical to stick on your roof or on the balcony of your apartment or make a mobile antenna for 17 meters from scratch only 12 feet roughly 13 feet and you can get a little, you always want to go a little extra so you have room to trim off. So what would you find on 17 meters if you were a newly licensed ham and you went to 18 megahertz today? 17 meters is 
a cordial band. As we said, no contesting, so there's a lot of rag chew going on in 17, but there's also a mix of people wanting to get new countries. They may go to 17 to work some new countries because it's quieter than 20. For QRP operators like myself, I love QRP, and I've worked a lot on QRP with 17 meters because on 20, sometimes it can get discouraging. When you try at 5 watts and there's a lot of people out there, it becomes very hard. Throw a contest weekend on top of 20 meters when you're doing QRP and it becomes impossible. So 17 meters will offer you a lot of the properties that 20 will with a lot of educated people that like to get on 17 daily. 17 is great for mobile. I've worked more stations from my house, worked more mobile stations from my home QTH on 17 than I have on any other band because it's a lot easier to do mobile than it would be on 20 or 40. And we'll get into that later. So 17 meters, a great band, can be open late at night, and definitely plenty of action on 17 meters. The antenna's not that big, and every radio includes 17 meters. Thanks for watching. I hope this brought a little insight to you on 17 meters, and follow along to the next video talking about 20 meters, 7.3, and thanks for watching. From KJ4YZI.